and just like that we're back at damien's there's the 18 van i don't know if you've seen the episode where we got this thing but it used to be a wreck it was one of those like uh really creepy vans i'll put a link up here but yeah we're back at damien's and damien finally appeared uh, we're over here struggling with ourselves because motivation that's lacking. Not we're for me. Bullshit. I got I, I, I'm the one that started Look down it. here. Look down here. There's a new uh, slave cylinder installed. <laughs> Look underneath and there's a new master cylinder installed. I'm doing work. You're the ones working on your house. Anyways, so we're... Uh, we're here installing these injectors. This is actually kind of funny. Uh, what you say? This is a Mercedes, a Mercedes fueling system. K Tronic fuel injection. We got new hoses because everybody's yelling at me that these hoses are going to spring a leak. Well, they look like the GM nylon lines. So yes. Okay. Well, they're getting <laughs> changed. But anyways, and new injectors. And those are these over here. Which, uh, funny enough, um, these things. I'm not sure. If those are in the Cylinder. combustion chamber, I mean, it looks like they it's are. right next to the spark plug. Yeah. But then there's the intake port right there. So, so I think it's going in the intake. I don't think there's compression there. Uh, let's hope so, but that does look like carbon seal, so, or carbon buildup. So, never know. Anyway, uh, let me put this back in here, but... Yeah, that is. Uh, I would love to convert this thing to electronic fuel injection, because then you get rid of this whole stupid head, you get rid of the cold start valve, you get rid of all this extra. Uh, there's a hot start valve. There's all kinds of extra crap that you wouldn't need. Holly, and put. A, <laughs> well, yeah, it would be nice to put a, um, a Holly HP and maybe some custom made like rail right, thing to hold like it. Like a. Oh. Um, like an electronic ignition, get rid of the the DeLorean ignition. <laughs> yeah. It'd be great if actually, I'll bet you this motor you could actually make some horsepower out of. It's a Renault Peugeot and Renault Peugeot. You know what happened to the Hubble telescope? Where many, many hands came in oh, and, and then they all... And Volvo. Yeah, they all managed to up at the end anyways since we're, we're not very motivated we're gonna go to uh Lowe's over here no harbor freight to go buy some of that chinesium and uh, uh get since working the last video where it took emilio my next door neighbor myself and somebody else i think dean was here to get the o2 sensor oh yeah <laughs> so the o2 sensor is still sitting on the floor the new one <laughs> And, and that's been need, what two months? <laughs> yeah. We need to chase the uh, threads in the exhaust before we put the new O2 sensor in. So hopefully by the end of this weekend I can have this thing running. Hopefully we still have to figure out how to get these rubber seals off of these injectors, which I don't know if that's possible. I mean they are spinning. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. Could you repeat that again? Everything on this car is a piss poor design. No wonder no one likes working on them. Did you get it that time? As we work on this thing. The awesome thing of working at Damien's garage here is that, I don't know, just to be the spiteful, I would just drop a wrench. <laughs> All the way down into the pit, which you guys can't see below. But actually, funny, funny enough, you can see, hold on. But you might be able to see that. You can see the wrench in there. Can you find <laughs> the, little, the little shiny thing? <laughs> <laughs> Which means uh, I need to go outside, go back downstairs, go get the, the don't go doors open. So this thing here. Just like every other piece of crap. <laughs> it's what prevents fuel from blowing out of the engine. These are, uh, look to be original DMC stamped gaskets. But uh, this is how we do it here in uh, Damien's garage. We, uh, we don't force know. them out of the old injector. <laughs> and did, we did you find it anywhere else? No. And we slam it onto the new ones. Put it back on, and when the car catches some fire, it's Damien's bad luck. 
<laughs> so Damien just went down to his uh, pit. And I wanted to demonstrate the black pit that this is. Oh, <laughs> you feel like? <laughs> no, you did not. So yeah. Hey, you know what's funny though? I didn't realize that you were walking down there. So it's nice that I dropped that and not the screwdriver or the <laughs> or the adjustable wrench. <laughs> I would have felt bad then. By the way, you have a 12 millimeter up here. I'm looking at it. Huh? I'm looking at a 12 millimeter. Oh no, never mind. That's a 13. Keep looking. I got it. All right, you got it. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the next one. Well, where are you? Oh, got it. And I found the injector. Imagine that. Because you weren't looking for it. If you were been looking for it, it would have been a totally different story. Anyways, for those that are watching this because we had the Lorian in there and fuel injectors and whatever, uh, these are 12 millimeter, uh, the injector and the bolt, the uh, banjo bolt, whatever you call it, are all 12 millimeters. Um, yeah, fairly easy, two copper. It, it actually resembles a lot like a brake system. Copper lines and yeah, just a fire waiting to happen. <laughs> so continue talking. Oh, we were talking about the accumulator that's on the bottom of this car that you, want to film? Actually, you installed you want? last time. Okay. Uh, and we were trying to figure out what the bladder does. And from what I was told, it's just like a well pump uh, bladder where it provides pressure to the rest of the system so you don't get a dry start. But I don't know that for a fact. Damn, bro, you're talking about me getting light up on top. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you're what losing as much hair as me. I handed you the phone and the first thing I thought was, this motherfucker say that. I knew it. <laughs> Uh, talking about old age and, and ha house Bro, ownership. Did, did you see the video I posted earlier? The, uh, I don't uh, know which one. The La Dirt League or something like that. The what? Uh, when they get 30, when they turn 30 and they're like fucking creaking all over the place. No, I must have missed that one. Well, you, you need to watch it because that's how my life feels lately. He used to bust my balls so much about getting old. Now all of a sudden he's like, oh man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I have no ambition to get nothing done. I said, ah, oh, welcome to my world, finally. <laughs> All right. Woo! We got this done. One Woo! side done. All right, let's get our story. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> I got a diet soda. And, uh... I got an oxygen sensor chaser. <laughs> oxygen sensor chaser and dot four. Jesus, $20 bottle of brake fluid. Anyway. It was $15.99 on sale. Oh, yeah, it was. Come My on, bad. Bro. Come on, bro. Anyway. Uh, so we did the east side just to practice. Now we're going to jump into the hard side over here. As you can see, every car is a nightmare on one side or the other. Yeah. <laughs> this would be the side. <laughs> But there's one ready to roll. All right. Anyways, what Damien's doing here, he's pushing down this gasket. Uh, it's held up here. Like you can see, it has like a little groove in there. And he's pulling them out of the old ones to put them in the new ones. Because and we can't find these. Grab that. And uh, yeah. So no, I'm just trying to fulfill the the DeLorean part of the video, so <laughs> any DeLorean people oh, gotcha. to actually find this useful. Um, but yeah, so anyways, we're knocking those out of that and putting them back on the other one. you're gonna do your fuel injectors, try to order these when you order these. If you can find them. Which, yes, that is correct. Obviously. I'll bet you the DeLorean has them, but I got these from Rock Auto. Man. I got the injectors from Rock Auto. And uh, yeah, so onwards. And there that's now. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead, Damien. What'd you do? 
I didn't do anything, Emilio. Somebody took off the line. I didn't take the line off. Somebody else took the line off. So how am I supposed to know which line goes where, Emilio? That just sounds like an excuse. Anyways, we're almost done changing all these lines. And it looks marvelous. That actually looks a hell of a lot better than the old God, why didn't you fire hazard. Paint this? You f dick. <laughs> I told him that we should clean this up and make it look pretty while we we're at it. And he's like, yeah, f that. What no, else? what I said was. Which actually, I need to, I need to stop cur uh, cursing. Yeah, I haven't cursed at all yet. I know. Oh, yeah. So, uh -huh. what I said first was, let's make sure the thing drives under its own power first. Then we can clean it up. That's and, but we don't want to do things twice. I love doing things twice. Haven't you but, by the Grand National? <laughs> God. All right, so where does this one go then? Oh, this must be this one. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. Guess it doesn't have a label. This is no, it goes. does have a label. Primary pressure line. So why the why the primary pressure? The joke. <laughs> the Yoda qualities are over here. Ketronic is the best fuel injection ever. <laughs> Uh, ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Put some bids out with Holly, see if it's still they'll hook you up. The whole DeLorean thing is taking up, right? Isn't it? Oh, yeah. There you go. What is that? What is all those writing on the wall? On the, on the That's door? all the people that have worked on the car in the factory. They all did that. Like, get the fuck out of here. That's actually go. really cool. Yeah, they marked the cars or they signed the cars. Wow. You wonder how they uh, got these cars built in Ireland when they're all drunk. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, anyways. Hopefully that gets back to Kara. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And for the fact that I bought a uh, Ireland car, that's even more funny.